Hello everyone. Welcome to Park Mess. In this video, I am going to solve this interesting exponential math problem. Now to solve this question properly, first we will write solution and then we will rewrite this question in the solution again and we will try to solve it step by step. So the question is 6 raised to power x is equal to 18. Now to solve this question step by step, first of all we will take log on both sides. So let us take log on both sides. So log of 6 raised to power x is equal to log of 18. Now here in the left hand side we will use a famous log property. So this log property is log of m raised to power n can also be written as n times log of m. So by using this log property in the left hand side of this equation, this equation will become according to this property we will shift this power to the front. So this will become x times log of 6 is equal to log of 18. Now since we need to find the value of x, so we will eliminate this log of 6 from the left hand side. So to eliminate this from the left hand side, we will divide both sides by log of 6. So let us divide both sides by log of 6. Now here in the left hand side, this log of 6 and this log of 6 will be cancelled with each other. So here in the left hand side only x will be left is equal to and the right hand side will be the same. But here we can write log of 18 as log of 18 can be written as 6 times 3. 6 times 3 is 18 and the denominator log of 6 will be the same. Now my dears again in the numerator of this equation we will use a log property. So here we will use this log property log of m times n can also be written as log of m plus log of n. So by using this log property in the right hand side in the numerator this equation will become x is equal to the numerator will become log of 6 plus log of 3 divided by log of 6. Now we can write further the right hand side as x is equal to it will become log of 6 divided by log of 6. We will divide both the terms in the numerator by log of 6 plus log of 3 divided by log of 6. Now here this log of 6 and this log of 6 will be cancelled with each other. So only one will be left here. So this will become x is equal to 1 plus and this will be the same log of 3 divided by log of 6. Now my dears here we will put the value of log of 3 and log of 6 and we will find the value of x. But here I am not putting the values of log of 3 and log of 6. I am going to further simplify this base log of 6. So here we can write this log of 6 as x is equal to 1 plus log of 3 will be the same and we can write log of 6 as 6 can be written as 3 times 2. So here in the denominator we will use again this log property 
and we will split the numbers 3 and 2. So we will do these steps here. The last equation is x is equal to 1 plus log of 3 divided by log of 3 times 2. So here in the denominator using the previous log property it will become x is equal to 1 plus log of 3 and the denominator will become log of 3 plus log of 2. Now my dears in this step we will substitute the values of log of 3 and log of 2. So the value of log of 2 is 0 0.3010 and the value of log of 3 is 0 0.4771 I write these values using a calculator and we can also take these values from the log table. So let us substitute these values of log of 2 and log of 3 in this equation. So this equation will become x is equal to 1 plus the value of log of 3 is 0 0.4771 and again the value of log of 3 is 0 0.4771 seven seven one plus and the value of log of two is zero point three zero one zero so let us add the numbers in the denominator in the next step this equation will become x is equal to one plus the numerator will be the same zero point four seven seven one and let us add these two numbers so 0 plus 1 is 1 1 plus 7 is 8 0 plus 7 is 7 and 3 plus 4 is 7 point and 0 now here we will divide these two numbers but they are in decimals so here first we will change these numbers from decimal number to a whole number so look it to both the numbers both the numbers has four digit in the decimal part so we will multiply both the numbers by 10,000 to change these numbers to a whole number so let us multiply numerator and denominator with 10,000 to change them from a decimal number to a whole number now by multiplying 10,000 numerator and denominator the point will be shipped from this place to here so it will become a whole number so this equation will become x is equal to 1 plus the numerator will become 4771 and the denominator will become 7781. So by dividing both the numbers x is equal to 1 plus by dividing these two numbers we will get the value as 0 0.6132 now let us add these two numbers so x is equal to 1 plus 0 is 1.6132 so finally the value of x is 1.6132 six one three two but remember my dears this is not the exact value of x this is an approximate value of x so this is the solution of this interesting exponential math problem in last don't forget to subscribe our youtube channel for such a more interesting math videos thank you so much for watching take care see you in the next video bye bye